Content warning. Cards Against Humanity is a very offensive game, only for adults of strong constitution. With that said, this video has been heavily censored. I've figured out further efficiencies to picking cards when playing on the website Pretend Your XYZZY. Generally you have 10 cards, but sometimes you need to pick two of them and so you will briefly have nine cards which are resized over the same area. It makes sense to have locations for clicking the card I want to select. In order to keep the clicking locations consistent, I used the right hand side of each of the 10 cards, so that when the 9 remaining cards are resized the chosen points still fall in the right places. I found the standard card positions repeat every 114 pixels, and I start my clicks 8 pixels from the left side of the browser. In voice attack the relevant code looks like this, though note that your Y coordinate will depend on what toolbars you have showing on your browser, as it will do for all other clicking locations you use. Note that occasionally it will want you to play 3 cards, for which it starts by giving you 2, and so you'll have to pick from 12, then from 11, then from 10. It's impossible to set coordinates which are consistent for those as well as with 9. See here how badly the earlier coordinates line up. But they are still rather close, and with a small grid movement command you can hit any of those cards very quickly. These play 3 cards are much rarer, so for most of the time you will be able to play about as fast as someone using their hands. Getting screen locations for confirming card selections is essential, and unchecking animate cards helps keep the coordinates consistent. Refreshing the page is necessary when weird glitches have happened from people leaving the game. The only slow bit is when you are the card czar, where you will have to use mouse gliding or grid movement to make your selection. You can't set standard coordinates for those because it changes according to the number of players and the number of cards each one submits. At best, you could set coordinates for up to four played white cards, so one from each of four players or two from each of two players, when at their full size, which I haven't demonstrated. But again, because you are the card saw for a small proportion of the time, you remain very efficient at playing for most of the game. Here is some group gameplay. Card 1, card 5, card 10, card 2, confirm. It's so easy. Oh! <laughs> Animate cards. Animate cards. Let's go to the mall today. None of mine even grammatical. Not many of them, sorry, not many of mine actually make grammatical sense. Fast. Left sprint. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Let me guess. Someone stole your Vespine gas. Let me guess. Someone stole your Barney Stinson. <laughs> Click. Confirm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. <there. laughs> Threat of fleet embrace for. Card 5. Confirm. <laughs> Action stations! Action stations! Set condition 1 throughout the fleet and brace for more Santa! <laughs> more Santa. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Although I like that you were both festive. Mm. Festive, yeah. <laughs> like Mead, State Farm is there. Like getting caught up in the crossfire TM, State Fire is State Farm is there. Right twelve, uh, left five, up one, click, confirm. Yeah, you need. Mm. <laughs> um, this is really difficult. Um, <laughs> Card seven. 
No. Card three. Confirm. <laughs>